and uh, I'm going to take a hike down to another lake called Shallow Lake, which is some distance away from here, so uh, it's going to be a nice hike. I'm just going to circumnavigate the lake and take lots of pictures, and the weather is spectacular. Very clear sky, uh, very nice temperatures, a little on the warm side, but nice. So, that's my day. Well, I'm just starting my day hike down to Shallow Lake. I'm still, um, this is the outlet of Upper um, Fraser Lakes. This is Upper Fraser Lake right here. And there's the outlet. It drains very shortly down to Lower Fraser Lake, which is right over there just came down from where those three trees are, right in the center of the frame, and followed this green draw down. And this is the scene that greeted my eyes. <laughs> Man, that's about as pristine and serene of a Sierra Jewel as you're likely to find out here. That's the shoot I came down, and I'm walking along the north side of the lake. And I don't see any footprints, I don't see any trails, fire rings, not one yet. But I just started this hike, and this is a big lake, so it's going to take me a while. I'm just going to circle the whole thing, see if I see anything interesting. All right, all you New Age crystal freaks, have I got one for you. That is a pure, solid block of quartz crystal. This was an absolutely splendid bathing spot right here. As you can see, the sand slopes off a good distance out and it gets fairly deep, but if you go out in about four feet, just as it starts to start sloping steeply, the water is absolutely warm and you can just hang out and swim around in here. It's like the Green Lagoon. Just when you think it can't get any better. I was walking around the lake and I saw a fairly brisk moving little inlet. And this little beauty shows up on the scene. Some would call this a tarn, but uh, this is too clean and too way too deep. I call this a lakelet. And it's quite a little gem, I must say, perched here, right at the top of a ridge. There's about three or four little lakelets up in this high valley. one of the more interesting areas I've ever walked through. I mean, you, you walk and every turn there's something new up here. Here's another little tarn. Look at how this one is situated. I thought the last one was situated cool. That's nuts. That is right at the edge of the, of the uh, ridge. I mean, it's literally perched at the edge. The far western end, the outlet of Shallow Lake, right there, and it drains down into that valley. That's it. And I'm going to cross it, 
and I'm going to continue my circumnavigation of this splendid, absolutely splendidly beautiful lake. This is the far western end of Shallow Lake. It's about a mile long, and I'm going to follow this side of the lake to the east, and then take a bath somewhere nice, and then uh, head over back and explore our area a little bit more if I still have the energy. Well, I'm nearing the end of my circumnavigation of this really beautiful lake. And uh, I'm going to go up a different way I came down. I'm going to go up right there where those trees are. And then I'm going to explore a little side canyon, go up and see what's up there. Shoot lot. Nice fucking day, that's all I can say. Our base camp is just to the right of that dome up there, just over that little knob. And I'm following what looks to be a running creek up this nice little green chute that ends up there somewhere, and hopefully in a little lakelet. So I'm on my way up here. This should be interesting. Well, that's the summit right up there. And that's the end of the gully that I'm going to reach, and you have to go through the portal of time in order to get to the top. Okay, I'm near the top, so I figured I'd turn the camera on, and we can go over this together. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go any further today. I'm tired. If you look carefully, you can see three different bodies of water, each one at a different elevation. The one closest to me is lower. Then you can see the one in the middle, which is slightly higher. And then the one in the far distance is actually lower. Very cool place, I must say. It is 9 o'clock, Friday, July 25th, 2008, and we're about to leave <clears throat> our base camp here and go to another layover over at Lower Wire Lake. Uh, we go cross country down to Immigrant Lake, and then we're going to take the trail and the Hobbit Trail over to uh, 
a tremendous cat Packer camp that we saw the last time we were there. And we were lusting after it, so we're going to do it this time. And then uh, have the layover on our way back down to Kennedy Meadows by 